Hello, this is a tutorial of how to get paid applications on the Android market for free, part one. Part one is going to show you how I believe is a more morally correct method of downloading applications onto your device that are, of course, free to you, paid for others. The um, second method is actually if you have to lie to Google, rip people off, I don't believe in lying, we're ripping people off. So I'll demonstrate it in the next video. But I can't, I'm not going to do that method. I recommend strongly this method if you're going to do it. If you want to give credit to the developers, pay them for it. They're three or four bucks per application. It's not a big deal. If you want to support your developers, by all means. I want to give full credit to the people at RiboMention. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And the creators of Reinvoked. Reinvoked is an application used for rooting the first or the better encrypted versions of Android operating system and the Ribo Mansion blog is where I found the community which helped me record my screen which I'm doing right now as you can see. Disclaimer if you have downloaded torrent, torrent files before please skip this part. I am going to put a actual time in the description for your convenience because I need to show the basics, basics of torrent downloading. Okay, now on your computer, you're going to need to download a torrent downloading client. The best one I prefer is called uTorrent. It's found at uTorrent.com. Download it for either Mac or Windows. I'm not even sure if you can do this on Mac, honestly. I'm pretty sure it's Windows only. Download it, and then you're going to be going to the Pirate Bay. Once that's downloaded, go to thepiratebay.org. And this is a hosting website for torrent files. It's only torrent files, nothing else. Be careful for viruses. If viruses are very, very, very common on this website, just be very careful. Don't scan. Antivirus softwares will not detect APK. APK is the file extension that Android platform uses. EXE, BIN, JRE, etc., TXT, CM or BIN, they are all extensions for Windows. APK is the extension for Android devices. APK files cannot be recognized by a antivirus software. So if you run a McAfee scan or a Norton scan, don't use Norton, please. But if you do use it and you scan it, it may come up a virus, and it it really won't be a virus because it doesn't recognize the file extension. So on the let's just say for example, I wanted the um the application for log me in um, you just put dot apk afterwards and log me in is a screen viewing applic screen viewing application made by log me in Inc. the best way of doing this probably is actually searching in the handheld area for log me in okay here we go for Android. As you can see, uh, here's a bit of a tutorial of how to download torrents, I guess, just in general. You're going to look at the seeds to leechers ratio and whether or not the person is a trusted or VIP member of the site. Trusted means that the person has uploaded a bunch of files and they are, are all safe. Don't be alarmed. Um, 642 kilobytes looks like a very small file because it is. This is a compression used for APK files. Zip files and RAR files are two extensions for Windows. Again, in comparison to APK, it's just a smaller version. What you're going to do is download, and it should automatically open this in your torrent client. And then once that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and set up our device and get our device ready to put files onto the device that will work with the device. I'll show you a few root applications just to get you going on this. Your phone must be rooted to do anything beyond this point. Okay, the next part of this video is going to show you how to actually enable your device to install non-market applications. Tap the menu button. Yours may be different, but they're very similar. Settings. Scroll to where you see applications. And then go to where it says unknown sources, allow installation of non-market applications to check that because we're getting it from a torrent site, not the Android market. 
Next, you're going to need a device, a root explorer. So you're going to need a application that basically just goes into the C drive of your device. Root explorer is my favorite. It's it's paid, but it's good. But if you want a free one, then Astro is definitely my second favorite choice. Astro File Manager Pro, but they have a free version. The free version is what you want right now. And if you want to download Root Explorer later, you definitely can for free, which is great. And Yeah, so this helps you get any application for free, basically, and I'm going to show you in the, in the next part of this video how to, on your PC, download the torrent itself and get it on your device in APK format. Okay, now you need to download your APK file, download this torrent, and go to Open With You Torrent. Once you do that, it'll come up doing this. Um, go ahead and install it. It doesn't take more than... 30 seconds to download any application really just because they're such a they're half a meg so definitely a very small file <clears throat> once you have it downloaded however you're going to come in and it'll say dot apk uh, see it if you want uh, seeding basically helps other people download it faster but I'm a douche so I don't like doing that and you can get caught by the law, etc. I'm not scared about that, but yeah, whatever, aside from that. On your device, you're going to make your device go to... Never mind that. Okay, on your battery, on your charge only, yours is going to be different if it's a different device. I'm running on an HTC Evo right now. And you're going to go to disk drive. Done. I might lose connection here, actually. Maybe not. And what this will do is it'll um, come up with your... Perfect. Your root. This is what root explorer basically puts you in. So what you're going to do is put your APK in here. Didn't necessarily have to be in there, but... Okay. Wikia games. Okay. So, now that you know where it is, make sure you know where it is. Just on your device anywhere is really okay, just as long as you know the file extension to where it is. Once it's on there, close of this, on your phone, go ahead and change it from disk drive to charge only. And once you do that, it'll re-prepare your SD card. And you will be ready for the next part. Preparing SD card, okay. Instead of cutting this video down, I'm actually just going to do the lazy ass way. I'm going to go ahead and just do it. Okay, so Root Explorer. Um, once Root Explorer is open, scroll down to where you downloaded your APK. Sorry. Once you're in Root Explorer, go to SD card. And then in SD card, find where you put yours. Yours should just be here with an Android logo. However, mine is not because I put it in here. And then there it is. Click on it and then install package. Um, okay, I already have it downloaded, but yeah, same gist. Okay, install. Okay, just give it a minute to install. Application has installed. Open set application and it's now launching perfect okay and bit drowsy where is it I'm going to feel really dumb. Log me in. There it is. Okay. There you go. Log me in. Installed. Click on log me in. And of course... It runs. Um, I'm not sure if it'll put log me in into a loop if I screen view my own computer right now. But if you go into the marketplace, search, log me in...
on the Android market, log me in, cost $30. You just got it for free in less than 10 minutes. This works for pretty much any device. Since I'm already on my computer, I may as well show. Um, if you go to Google and there's an application on the Pirate Bay that you can't find, which will happen because they only have the expensive apps, Root Explorer APK. Um, click on, usually it's the first link on Google, second link on Google. Once you find it, there you go. I'm pretty sure this is the one I have. Download it and same process. Uh, just follow this guide exactly and you will have any free app you want with no problem. This is tutorial one of probably two or three. I may do a root guide. I probably won't unless one of my generous real life friends wants me to root their device because I don't want to unroot and then reroot. That is just time consuming. I might show installation of ROM tutorials and I may or may not do a few other Android videos. It depends how well this one goes as far as likes and dislikes and comments go. Alright, so comment, rate, um, if you have any problems, message me, comment. I'll be happy to help and anyone on the video who wants to help others, by all means. I will probably open up a form to this on my website so that we can openly discuss it on our on the website. And this has been Modman. Thanks.